the top level. I'm a rebel, rise up cause I'm a top rebel. Look in my eyes, this is my time. Step up, rise up, fight first, bring it up. Hello all to my next episode of Remus Talks. I just thought before I grab my shower, I should talk about the next subject for today's video. Some of you will remember this morning that I was going to talk about carnage this evening. Well, a little change in plans. After all, I have all the time in the world to talk about carnage and all the thoughts that I have on him, because I did say I have a lot. And I want to make sure that this Saturday, when I do talk about him, it'll be perfect. And I'll be able to get everything off my chest about that part-timing piece of scum. <laughs> but it's not about him today, no. It's about someone else who used to be an SWF. I thought I might as well get him off the list as well. And this is someone that not many of you will know at all. His name, hmm, this will be familiar to both Catherine and Side Splitter for very bad reasons. His name is Dante. I'll be honest, I don't know much of his achievements. I don't know much in terms of what he's been able to bring, other than his hardcore nature. He could give Crimson a run for his money back when he used to be in SWF. Another person who's a vicious victim of Side Splitter's regime of terror. Although, with this one, I can understand why. So Dante, what can I tell you about him? Possibly one of the most influential hardcore wrestlers in SWF. I have no recollection of whether he actually held that title or not, though a part of me feels that he did. Another defining feature is that he used to be in a relationship with the Black Widow. I won't say much on that, seeing as it was before my time, although I imagine that Catherine wasn't very happy with him, for very obvious reasons. And this obviously led to animosity between him and Side Splitter, so that's what got Tim kicked out of the group to start with. Although if it was me, because I did see him at one event, a fun day, I remember it was way back, way back, talking years before I even started wrestling. I remember seeing him in a match and just what he was able to put himself through. If I had to equate him to a modern day wrestler, I would equate him to Darby Allen. He has a very similar frame, though nowhere near as successful. He puts his body on the line every single time. And sometimes, if not all the time, it leads him to have injuries, such as broken ribs, broken arms, Hell, I even heard in a rumour that he almost broke his neck once. An almost death sentence to any wrestler in the world. We all have to think of a few names and I don't need to repeat them here. He doesn't impress me. Shall I tell you why? Because at one point, with the way that I was heading into SWF, with my constant injuries, I felt like that I would be inherently, spiritually, the next Dante. Someone who always put himself far, far, far into the match and did not care for the results and the toll on my body, on his body. Thankfully, I met Richard, who showed me a different way of wrestling who showed me a different path. One where I could be as successful as I want and be able to inflict that pain and suffering that I received onto everyone else. And I'd be able to do it a lot better than what Dante could. <laughs> you see, Dante, you're like a prototype of what I am. 
that hardcore attitude, that never say die, adventurous nature of yours, is something that I do see in myself. What I see in myself more than you is the success that comes from it, which you will have never have gained compared to what I have. Seeing as you are no longer wrestling from what I can gather. Yes, SWF has definitely not treated you kindly, although from what I hear, you did not treat many members in SWF with any kindness either. Not that I care, but I can understand why they would throw someone like you out. After all, you are faulty goods. You're no use to a wrestling world anymore. You can't hope to even compare to someone like me, or even Dakaro, or even Side Splitter for that matter. Because him kicking you out ultimately proved that you are his bitch. And he took away your girl as well. Though I hear you're doing very well with a new one right now. Georgia Fay, is it? Georgia Fay. And I hear she took your last name as well. <laughs> so someone's clearly moved on. Although, if I ever felt I needed to, I could break that. Just like this. Because I have no love for someone like you, Dante. I have no love for someone who can barely look after themselves, who is as short-sighted as you were, and has no longevity in a career such as wrestling. Me? I can go for decades, and I can keep going for as long as I want to. But you, you hindered yourself. You allowed yourself to be broken, to be softened, to be weakened. And then you were thrown out of SWF, and you've never been able to gain any success since, because you've let it eat away at you, gnaw inside at you. When you could have taken that passion and truly given something back and you could have become something greater somewhere else but you relied on swf to give you that glory that you are so desperately crave and i suppose you've now found it with your new girl but i do imagine deep down inside that there is a bit of you who is craving that action again and would do anything to get back to it I'll tell you one thing though, you'll never become relevant again within the wrestling world. Your time is over. You've already had your zenith and you've already reached your decline and your empire has been broken. But then from your foundations, something like me grows, more successful. Everything that you could have been if you would have played the game properly something that I am now becoming an expert at. And the truth is, Jordan, I'll always be better than you. And I just thought I should remind you of that. So then I, you don't get any ideas of wanting to come back just because I started mentioning names like Leo Libra. After all, I hear you two were in a very similar time period when you were in SWF. And whilst Leo has returned occasionally, never been able to stick either, you never got that opportunity because of your animosity with Lawrence and Catherine, which I completely understand. You just didn't handle it in the correct way. You let it consume you, destroy you from the inside out. <laughs> Whereas you saw doom if it were me, I would have seen fortune, and I would have turned a bad situation into a good one. Now, I doubt you'll respond to me. You'll be a broken shell of a man by now. But if you do find the guts to respond to what I've been saying here, please go ahead. Your brethren, Leo Libra, has certainly done the same, though 
unsuccessfully. And hell, if you are still kicking around in the wrestling world and nobody else knows, maybe you can try and prove me wrong. But as it stands right now, you are nothing more than a memory, a distant one that everyone wants to forget. And as for me, I'm one that they cannot forget, and one that they cannot remove. So I'll carry on a legacy that you could never create. <laughs> and why am I talking about you, if you are not relevant at all? Well, what better way to keep an ancient memory an ancient memory than by completely destroying it at its core? And that's what this video is all about. A reminder to the rest of the wrestlers that you are not something to be feared, you are not something to be remembered, and you are not something that anybody should ever want to remember. Just a little heads up for you on that. Hmm. Yes. Ignoring you now. I'll get to you eventually, Carnage. This Saturday. I will talk about you this Saturday, as I want to make sure that I've done all my research on you. Because I know that there's a lot more in the archives that I don't know about you, and I'm going to find out every semblance of information that I can on you. And I'm going to make sure that I have a lot of fun with what I say this Saturday. But that does lead for tomorrow. Who should I talk about tomorrow? Hmm. Well, I suppose I'll leave that up for vote. And to do that, you only need to click up here and vote for which wrestler I should talk about next. Oh, everything just seems to be falling into place now. Everything. And for someone like me who craves perfection, I could ask for nothing better. Now, leave a like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon so you can stay updated with all future videos. This has been Remus Talks, and this has been one... about who? <laughs> a joke, but one that will not be so for ever. As soon his name will become nothing more than a distant memory, which will slowly fade from history. And I'll see you all in the next one. After all, I've got a shower to get into. So. See you all next time. Fight, bird, bring it on!